I think I saw Josephine sign on. Josephine, are you there? Yes, I'm here. Hello, welcome. Glad you could make it. I wanted to give you a chance to introduce yourself to everybody. Tell us a little about yourself. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. My name is Josephine of Kenya. I work in Kampala, Uganda at Macquarie University, Johns Hopkins Research Collaboration, and I'm an HIV cure fellow. Yeah. Welcome. Welcome. Um, Josephine, Thank did you get to attend CROI? Unfortunately, I didn't attend CROI, okay. but uh, today I tried to watch some of the videos uh -huh. that were showing certain presentations of, uh, that were done during the meeting. Well, that's great. And so what we've been talking about right now is uh, bringing up uh, the global need for a cure and how long uh, acting treatment might affect people's desire. And we were looking for people's expression of what they thought about the two. Um, would they still want a cure if they could take a pill once a year for treatment? Well, I think uh, the view may vary from different people to the other. I, I think when, when, when I give an example of my mother who started ARVs when there was no ARVs, you know, you know that moment when there's no treatment and then it comes and you're all just happy to get the treatment. So to such people that were taking very many pills, and now modifications have happened that they are taking lesser pills and probably the injection is coming. You know, to those, it may look like, you know, we are better off right now. But to the younger generation, I don't think that would be the case. Like, um, even if you take me off two pills and you give me one pill a month or one pill in six months, mm. trust me, from my personal experience, I would still demand the cure because there is so much more associated to HIV than just the pills that we take. The, you know, the long time side effects, uh, the fact that, you, you know, even if it is one pill, you will still have to take that one pill. So there is so much the stigma around it. So there's so much beyond the medication that we're taking. So I would still demand for an HIV cure personally. And many feel the same way. I think stigma mm -hmm. is the overriding Monster, everyone found, affects everyone, whether you live with HIV or you don't, everyone is affected by HIV stigma and it makes life living hell for some people. Um, it, it's what I believe gives people um, a platform online to sell fake HIV cures. Um, it's all that stigma. People who are feeling desperate will do desperate things and be willing to pay for anything. And uh, that always breaks my heart when I see that happening.